Quinn, how was your Thanksgiving? Since this will probably come out. It's a strange world. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We just saw Strange World. Directed, of course, as we all know, by Don Hall and Keen Wynn. Uh, written by Keen Wynn. Uh, starring the voices of Jake Gyllenhaal, Jabuki Young-White, Gabrielle Union, Dennis Quaid, Lucy Liu, uh, Karen Sony's in there, Alan Tudyk. Uh, uh, people, you don't see them, you hear them, because mm -hmm. it's an animated movie by Disney. Mm -hmm. This, of course, is a movie about... A strange world, as the name would suggest. Yeah. Uh, and things happen, and they're exploring it, and I don't even know what to say about it. The plot develops. The plot <laughs> develops. There's a beginning, mm -hmm. then things change in the middle, yeah. and then it ends. Uh, that's how this movie works. Not all movies work that way. Most movies do. but Sometimes they do. Sometimes yeah. they don't. Those are um, called unfinished films. Yes. Wow. This, uh, what, I, I wasn't really excited for this. I was not really excited. I want to make sure I emphasize that. This was a non-movie coming up to me. The only reason yeah. I had any excitement ever was the uh, guy who provided the music for my film, Eugene vs. Humanity, and I also did his music video for Wild Beast, Ralph Pellymounter. Yes, I'm name-dropping right now. Boom. Uh, he had a song in this, but then found out at the premiere, the UK premiere last week, that it is only in the UK version. So guess who didn't hear Ralph Pellymounter's beautiful voice? These guys. Uh, so as soon as I found that out, my excitement for anything just went out the window. Diminished. Um, Thanos so, snapped. Whatever Thanos you want to snapped, call it. Thanos snapped, yes. Uh, but, you know, the first thing that w we both noticed is that all of the characters in this were overly expressive in the beginning. Very much so. And it kind of, I don't know if we got used to it or if we just calmed down, but, like, it was, like, super cartoonish at first. Yeah. And, they, and it's a cartoon, but, like, more than Disney has done in a long time. They, they want you to see every expression that's happening yeah. on their face. They're so talking like every, this and doing this and oh my goodness every, and ah! Oh my god and every emotion. Look yeah. at my dimples. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, yeah, it was it was all over the place as mm. far as uh, facial expressions went and so on. And the first like 20 minutes were going so fast paced it was it was crazy to me. Lots of information. But let's halt on that for a second. Can we can we just can we just take a moment to believe that there's a world out there that was called Day After Tomorrow, where Jake Gyllenhaal played the son and Dennis Quaid played the father. That's and how they would, re how I would react if I was a strange if, world If the character. world was that cold, that's how I'd react because I'd be dead, actually. Yeah. I we couldn't even have time. I didn't make that connection. I did. They, they are reuniting in this, mm -hmm. uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and, and Dennis Quaid as uh, father and son. Yes. It was and cool. yeah, it was a nice little nod, and that's pretty much where the good things end. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not that this is a bad movie, but it is. <coughs> Go ahead. Not a good movie either. Yeah. Um. It, it it just is so. It just everything it is saying is so on the nose. Of course, uh, you know. And I, again, the problem here is not that there are gay characters in the movie. We might cut this part out if, if you disagree. But it's just, it's so obvious that Disney's just trying to be like, look at us. They're, they're just trying to pander to be like, we're hey, oh, we're doing that thing, you guys. You guys really wanted this, right? Yeah. Like, he, look, he's cool, he's fine. But I guess thinking about it now, that's exactly kind of what happens with straight characters as well when they, there's a romantic interest where like they pop up and they're like, oh my goodness, I'm mm. so stricken by you. So I guess that I could be unfair. They, they handled it both well and it's it's I think it's all it's a matter of two things it's either like there's so many different companies and movies doing this now that they're just like hey hey you're a male I'm a male <laughs> let's get it on but we'll never kiss and, but they'll they'll yeah they'll never jump on except for in light year where it's a woman and a woman it was done better in, in light year light mm -hmm. year felt natural and it was yeah. just just most of the time like a fact but it, 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 it the way they do it it just doesn't feel natural the way they're doing it yeah when just let let them 
let them do their thing and let them grow mm -hmm. uh, for each other and stuff like that. Yeah, but, uh, but you know, it, and and continuing with the whole on the nose thing, this becomes a very on the nose thing for global warming. Again, something I full heartedly support, but it's too well, much so. And daddy uh, issues. And daddy it's, issues. This movie is. It's not called Strange World. It's called On the Nose. Yeah, you said you have daddy issues. I have it. daddy issues. This movie was fucking annoying. <laughs> I don't have daddy issues and it was still annoying. Because all that he did is... My son, I, I have a legacy. I have a legacy for us. We gotta do it. But dad, I'm not like you. I don't want to be like you. But son, we're together in this. But dad, I'm a farmer. I'm not an explorer. But dad, I don't want to be a farmer either. I want to be an explorer. What?! Our legacy! <laughs> Our legacy! Fuck you! Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really bad. It's super repetitive. Um, did you hear that? I feel like it was behind us, but I know it, it's it, it was. I'm pretty sure it was behind us. I'm gonna be murdered. Uh, yeah. But it's just such a... It's a weird movie. It's a strange movie, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, and it's just got like kind of cheesy animation that I felt like Disney had gotten away from and then it came back. It feels more like a DreamWorks movie than it does a Disney movie. And that's not knocking, I like DreamWorks. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not knocking DreamWorks. DreamWorks like, makes some bangers. Animation wise where, you know, it, it, for the most part DreamWorks animates in a way that's more cartoonish, which is fine. But mm -hmm. like I've come to expect better from Disney, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and that's not that's me nitpicking because I didn't really care for the movie, but it's is it's just not an interesting story. Uh, it's not it doesn't bring anything new to the table, uh, and when it does, it's quick and doesn't really add to the story. Um, and I don't think it brings anything new to the table. I'm I'm just saying that to try to give it something nice to say. I, don't, I really don't have much nice to say about it. Uh, the music was nice. Sometimes it sounded like it was about to go into the Lawrence of Arabia soundtrack, but it never did. Uh, there's that. Where I didn't get completely bored with this movie, I, I did think, tried too hard in a lot of scenes, a lot of character uh, motivations and just character choices and jokes and all that. Um, but overall, I didn't like this movie very yeah, much. Yeah, me neither. Like, it wasn't bad. But I didn't, I wouldn't ever go out of my way. I'd probably watch Luca again before I, I watch this again. Um, yeah, I probably would too. And I didn't care for Luca that much either. Nothing really happened in that movie. Yeah, uh, it's just painfully mediocre. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it's, sometimes mediocre movies are worse than bad movies. Yeah. Just because bad movies are usually like so laughably bad that they become entertaining. Whereas this was just like... There's nothing really to talk about, which is why we're struggling to talk about things without digging ourselves into a hole. The dog uh, was funny, but he was super underutilized. Yeah. Ba barely was, you know, doing anything funny besides rolling over and being a dog. Um, and then the little splat character was funny, but only for very few moments. Mm -hmm. um, Sound like Donald Duck at times? Yeah, other than that, it, it doesn't do much as a movie to make you yeah. care for it. You this know. this is going to be a good movie to take kids because, you know, kids don't yes. really care. They just want to see flashy images and flashy colors. It's got plenty of that, but, like, and this we, isn't... We also do know we're full-grown men, men, okay? <laughs> Fully grown. <laughs> Big boys. <laughs> Big boys. Uh, but, um, yeah, whereas a lot of current kids' movies kind of give something for the adults to enjoy, mm -hmm. uh, this, not that I can think of, really does... Yeah. Um, there's a flamethrower in it. There's a, yeah, there's a flamethrower. That's, a, I guess, enough. <laughs> yeah. We're big boys. <laughs> big boys. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not probably ever going out of my way to see this movie. Yeah, me either. I don't really have anything else to say. There's not I feel much. like I'm just trying to find something to say, and there's nothing to say. Yeah. So, uh, ratings, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. <laughs> Same! Oh! Wow! Wow! That's crazy, dog. Yes. Wow. Strange world. Strange world. Yeah. yeah. If you saw a strange world, tell us what you thought down in the comments below. Uh, and 
let us know your thoughts because if you especially if you disagree with us i want to see if like people that like this what they liked about it yeah um and uh just cough just cough <coughs> so yeah comment down below and we'll see you next time bye bye bye